These are the top five takeouts from Vince Freeze from fifth to first. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for all of your support. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down there and the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. All right guys, so I wanna make a fun video. This is the top five worst takeouts from Vince Freeze. Let's get into this thing right away. Don't wanna keep you waiting, let's go. Number five. Our leader Roxon is starting to pull away and here comes Malcolm Stewart right up into Freezy, he goes by. Anderson trying to get by and he tangles with Freezy. Down goes Anderson, down goes Mooskin. And oh boy, they could be looking at having to go to the semi. Watch what happens right here. Freezy just comes straight across. Anderson thinks he's gonna cut down. His instincts failed him there because Freezy was, was right there and he was gonna try to cut down early. And look at this, Vince Freezy not making some friends here with Jason Anderson. He is not happy. How will that play out later on tonight? And Anderson with a shot up inside the... All right, guys, so this is 2017. This is Jason Anderson in Anaheim. Boom! Freezy just cleans them. To me, this wasn't really Freezy's fault. Uh, he didn't think Jason Anderson was going to cut down like that. But at the same time, like, <laughs> dude, he, he clobbered him. That's why this is ranked number five in my books. It's not too bad, but both guys can be blamed. But he's got to be ready for that. And this is the worst part. Look at all the kids right here. Jason Anderson's screaming at him in front of all the kids. Like, worst luck ever. Swings at him and then crashes into the fence. Crazy. Number four. Freezy's in the red, Pike in the yellow and blue. They get together, pretty innocent. Blocked the line there. Pike got the short end of the stick. Struggle through oh, that. Oh, down goes Pike. Oh, and he is not happy about Freezy at all. That's going to cost him. This, though, was totally intentional by Freezy. He goes in really aggressive, way too aggressive. And of course, Pike. His emotions overcome him and he lets loose. So this is the heat race and he gives him no room on the track and basically pushes him off the track, which is pretty fucked up, but at the same time, not too bad. And then just cleans him in the semi. And Weston Pikes had enough and just Mike Tyson's him real quick, says, bro, if you do that to me again, it's going to get worse. Look at this, cleans his clock. I mean, I would be feeling the same way, bro. Like, that that could have broke his leg, like, 100%. Number three. Right before the big triple, and Justin Barsh is down and down hard. Oh, no. See what happens here at the top of your screen. Oh, Vince Freezy. Or no, the 51 of Justin Barsha oh. gets tangled up with Vince Freezy, a lap rider. And then there's nowhere for Eli Tomac to go. Watch Here's another look. Oh, jumps right in front of him. And watch yeah. Eli. Right now, Nothing he's got he do. bikes on the ground. That is such oh. a helpless feeling. It's like, oh, no, there's nowhere I can go. Oh, my word. Oh, man. And Barsha still on the ground. All right, guys, so this one to me looks, it can go either ways. It can go either way. If you look at Vince, it's like he, he starts, he hits, he seat bounces and it kicks him left, kind of into Barsha's line. But Vince had the line. Barsha should have chilled knowing not what to do because you never know with Vince Freeze. He tried to thread the needle and ended up biting the bullet. Look, it kind of kicks him left and then Barsha's like, boom. Eli, nowhere to go. Boom. Vince got a lot of crap for this one also. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think down below on that one? Is it his fault or Barsha's fault? Let me know what you think. Number two.
All right, guys, this one is pretty clear to me. Watch Vince Freeze just come straight at Brayton and take him out. Like, the evidence is right there. This is the best angle I can find. That's crazy, like, to me, to do that to your teammate. And he was in the running for the World Supercross Championship title. A lot of bonus money. How can you do that? Jeez, that brings us to number one, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I appreciate everything, and hopefully you like this. So give me the thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you. Here's number one. Number one. Oh, he goes wide and takes him down. He takes Christian Craig to the ground. Oh, I cannot believe it. Where's, there he is, there he is. Oh. Freezy hops from the inside of the sand to the out. Yeah, you come here, and I, and, and Daniel, I, I just don't know if I'm ever going to understand why this. What can you say? This was the takeout heard around the world. When I saw this live, I couldn't believe what I just watched. His legs are flying in the air. Look at this. Boom. Flying in the air. Everybody was Team Christian Craig for the championship, too. Vince picked the worst guy to do this to, and, like, it's so out of control. And then he crashes also. Why did he do that to himself? Guys, this was hard to watch. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with the top five? Is there more that you would have added? Thanks for watching these videos, guys. Stay subscribed, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.